All right, I saw some people ask online about this game. I'm not huge into unboxing videos, but I thought I'd make one. For this one, this is Thunder in the East. This is uh, Frank Chadwick. This is the first volume. The second volume, I guess, will be Thunder in the West, maybe. Um, but so this is Victory Point Games. You can see this is part of the ETO series here. So let's uh, let's take a look. Usually these games have pretty great production value and this one I don't think is going to be any exception. This was a Kickstarter that I just got in the mail. Um, a little stuff in here, baggies, something that I love to see, tuck boxes. This is awesome. I've made a few of those in my time and I can say they're great when somebody else makes them. <laughs> Some custom dice, more custom dice. These are pretty cool looking. Cards, of course. Quite a few of them. The rule book. Again, this has kind of got a perfect bound glued rule book, full color. Looks like the kind of the line spacing is pretty generous, even though the typeface is kind of small. But um, this is a relatively complicated game, I think. Um, you know, the back of the box writes it anywhere, depending on where you're at, from a you know six to a nine in complexity, or six to eight in complexity rather. Um, so I, whatever that means to this particular company, I guess. Um, we've got some scenarios. There's a campaign game that comes with this as well that adds some additional complexity to it. Um, campaign game economic map. Operation Typhoon. We'll look at the deployment details. So we've got a lot going on in here. So that's a scenario book. A reference booklet. So this is kind of cool. I like the idea of having a little reference booklet for the rules. Might be kind of cool if there were two of these, so we'll have to see if there's another one of these reference booklets in there. Then we've got some transport cargo sheet information. Looks like it's got some rules that you can use directly on the sheet. Access available units in the reserve. Soviet available theater reserves. We have a casualty map. Okay. A couple of terrain effects charts here. That's good. I always like to be able to hand stuff to people when they're sitting on their side of the table, so we don't have to custom print some. Very good. All right. Into the meat of some of the stuff here. This is the turn record track. And again, something I love that Victory Point Games does so well is lay out their victory point tracks in such a way that lots of the rule mnemonics that you might need are actually built right into the turn track itself. And then we've got kind of the economic resources here. Um, and this is something that helps to track, I guess, production, particularly in the campaign game I'm imagining. So kind of a cool economic map here. Dogfight results table. And then the ground combat results table. Let me see one of those. Morale chart. And then looks like some additional game sequence of play details. And there's the other version of that. Here's the other ground combat and air combat sheet. So there are two of those. Uh, looks like you've got some air units. And then in here, we're looking at the actual counters. So if you look, these counters are the same size uh, as the ones, if you're familiar with No Retreat Russian Front. Uh, same simple printing, uh, good iconography on them, easy to read. Uh, the only thing I would say is they feel maybe just a hair thinner, but that was kind of a super deluxe treatment. 
One thing I like here is that they put this little finger hole in here. There are actually 10 of these sheets. I'm not going to pull every single one of them out. Counter sheets are kind of counter sheets, but just to give you a good sense of some of the chits that are on here, we're again looking at circular chits. I like the odds column uh, notifications here. There's ni some nice memory pieces on here, which is great. Um, so let's look all the way at the bottom here. Let's dig out all of these counters. And for reference, I would rather pay a premium to get counter sheets like this than to have them all jammed together in the traditional counter sheet way. Absolutely be willing to pay a, a substantial premium for that because it makes life so much easier in getting the game on the table. This is the access display. So you've got all kinds of things here from resource points, order of battle, reinforcement schedules, the force pool, core remnants, all kinds of stuff. So there's lots of good chromey bits sitting in here. And then of course they save some of the best for last, which is, you know, I hate to say it, one of the things that kind of sold me on this game was just how great the maps looked. And let's pull one out here. So this is the map that includes Moscow, Smolensk, of course we can follow the rail line down to Mink, uh, loads Danzig up here on the coast of course you kind of come back around to Leningrad so this is a really attractive map in a massive package so I think this one is going to see some retail um, I got it on Kickstarter which is why I have it now so my hope is that it's going to start working its way through the retail supply chain shortly and folks will be able to pick this one up but in the meantime people were kind of asking what was in here this is uh, what's in the box so hope that uh, somebody else can do a better job of kind of going through all the details of you know why the oranges and reds and yellows and whites and browns and what all the little icons on here mean so uh, that'll be great but in the meantime just a quick video to, sh to show you what's up with this one